I want the update. Okay, so this is an update uh, from Aaron, who will remain anonymous. <laughs> Fuck, it's not going to let me do the robot voice, so now I have to read. But this is what it sounds like in my head when I read out loud, just so you know, because I'm a dyslexic guy. Um, okay. okay, I have an update. Mike and Zoe, this is Aaron. Hey, Aaron. First thing, no need to read this on the pod. Totally reading it on the pod, Aaron. Here's the question. I've been a casual dater for a long time mm. for a bunch of reasons uh, that we won't get into. Mm. Always the case. Uh, I've recently started seeing a very cool, very blunt lady. And we've had a very open conversation about wanting to get serious with our par- next partners. Mm. But not the one that. Their next one. Yeah. Not the one. Not that the current one. Yeah. Okay. Man, you guys just missed each other. Yeah. There's also an expressed mutual interest, oh. but it feels extremely premature to say anything uh, more because we're meeting for our first date in a couple days. Oh. Assuming I don't eat shit, I hope that there will be a second, a third, and so on. Fourth. Years. Fifth date. A year anniversary Six date. dates. What advice would you have ten. for her son? Ten. Eight. Imagine if you dated somebody and like just numbered all of your dates and like wrote down exactly what. No joke, dude. I was at um, a don't tell show. Uh-huh. Was it yesterday or the day before? Uh-huh. And I said, how long have you been dating? How long have you been dating? And they said, uh, like um, 34 months. No. And I said, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> You've been dating for an infant. Um, what advice with seven would you have for someone that's going through this process where you feel that deeper level of connection and alignment for basically the first time, um, especially pre meeting. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I'm trying to stay in the moment and not overthink everything, but wish me luck. And then, so that was June 9th on June 12th update. The date happened. It went great. So any advice is doubly valuable. Interesting. June 18th. I said, I'll bring it up on the show. It's July 10th. Yes. Oops. I said, glad the date went well. They, Aaron said, thank you. We're uh, officially exclusive as of yesterday. Things are moving kind of fast, but we're both on board and it's well communicated what we're looking for. And the alignment is there. It was kind of a swept her off her feet from the get go, moaning in her eyes. So the point might probably be moot. But I think it's still worth talking about. Thanks again for all of your wisdom and levity over the years. I hope to see you next time you're in MPLS, Minneapolis. 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 Um, so they did pretty good. See, what like advice that's, would you have given them? I mean, be yourself. Keep spending time together if you like spending time together. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> like, I think so many people feel like they have to put on like this, like, facade for people when they're first going out and whatever yeah but it's like no dude just be yourself and see where it goes like i know it's easier said than done and it's like a nerve-wracking thing to date but if you take like the the stress of it out and just go and have fun yeah i think a lot of people would be in a better place like i never really like sure i got a little bit nervous for dates and stuff but it was never a, a thing where i was so nervous that I, I couldn't like really function or like ruined a, a date because of it. Like yeah. I've seen people do it with me, you know, yeah. uh-huh. but also I've seen people just once they realize that it's not anything that's it, like, we're just getting to know each other. Like, let's be friends that's first. Why dating is before. great when you're older. Yeah. Because though it might be harder to find what you're looking for because your stuff uh, that you're looking for is so like whittled down by that point and specific. It also makes it easier. Mm-hmm. And you're tired of like, I remember in my early twenties how I would go out and late teens as well. I would go out and be like, what do I want this person to know about what I have going on right now? Mm-hmm. What is like the right combination of stuff you could say? So that I'm better than like all their other options mm-hmm. at the current moment. And then you get older and you get tired and then you're like, 
it, you're the best when you're just yourself. Right. And uh, that's nothing to... Don't be bummed out about that because you don't know who you are for a long time. Right. You might have all this like uh, questioning and um, apprehension about just letting go and being yourself because you don't know exactly what that is. Literally just relaxing and being yourself. It might not work out with everybody. But once you get cool with like rejection and once you get to be in a place where it's like uh, where we don't work and it's more that like I'm bummed out that uh that it didn't work it's like we didn't work because we're not gonna work right like uh soon or eventually so once you get cool with that then everything becomes a lot easier i i know i already said this but i won't i it's a feeling that i remember very well it's like you you go out and maybe it's been a couple weeks or months uh, since your last date and you're like, man, I hope this one works out. And then you put, I hope this one works out above. Is it actually working out? Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't work out, I'm going to be sad more than let's be ourselves and see if we actually have a good time together. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that that's something that I haven't thought of since, my early 20s because then you figure out that you could get the best results by just being yourself mm -hmm. and you're like why did i do all that other shit what a waste of time and then mentally you want it i wanted to distance myself from that same thing with like being insecure mm -hmm. it's like yeah insecurity comes and goes always but i had such a hard time uh be being secure for a long time and then once i had it i pushed all that shit away push like insecure people away because they reminded me of of myself at that time yeah and it's like you push how you were away and uh but it's nice to revisit that stuff because then you get some perspective on yeah how far you've come i haven't thought about like really dating somebody like that obviously since i've met you you know like mm -hmm. but i i do remember how awkward some of those dates were and I was like, okay, this is definitely not what I need in my life, yeah. you know? You're interesting because you're uh, really confident and you're very, you're an incredible judge of character mm -hmm. and you're very much yourself, mm -hmm. but you also can get uh, nervous. Yeah. And there's almost nothing in between. Yeah. It's like a little toggle switch. But I, I never felt really nervous during like a date unless I like had a huge crush on this person, you know? Yeah. That's the same thing with me is now being hot. I find that I'm not really nervous around people because a lot of people, I don't know if you've noticed, but you look around at these people and they just look like people. You know what I mean? I'm looking around. I'm seeing people on the street and I'm like, there's one, you know? And then I look in a mirror and I'm like, what the fuck? Is that a window to heaven? No, it's just a mirror. Anyway, so it is, you know, if I was around me, I'd be nervous. You guys. <laughs>